We're going to cover some basic information about power cords and specifically power cords as you find in common use in North America. Now, all cords sold in North America have to meet a NEMA standard and a couple of UL standards that spell out things like the minimum wire gauge and the connectors. Most of the cords sold for industrial use and even a lot of the home appliance cords have the third contact that you see here. When you plug this into the wall and assuming the building has been wired correctly, the third prong makes contact with earth ground. One of the two main prongs on the plug is also wider than the other, and the wider prong is sized so it fits in the grounded side of the AC outlet. Again, this assumes the outlet was wired correctly. You can also find two prong versions of these plugs for simple appliances like table lamps. Now the main differentiating factor for power cords is the connector on the end that goes to the instrument or the appliance that's drawing power. The formal name for that connector is the appliance coupler. And it turns out that there are a lot of oddball versions of appliance coupler connections for arcane uses like enterprise class servers. And um, for some reason, some Xbox consoles have their own weird connector. But here we're just gonna cover the most common types you're likely to run into. Now most PCs and test instruments these days have what's called a C13 and C14 connector, though I've never actually heard anybody refer to it that way. Uh, maybe the most important thing about this connector is that it, it's rated to handle 10 amps. One of the other appliance couplers you see quite often is the C5, which is more frequently called a clover leaf or a Mickey Mouse connector because of its shape. A small switch mode power supplies, as you might find with laptops, might use this connector. But a thing to note about it is that it's only rated to handle two and a half amps, not the 10 amps that you can manage with a rectangular connector. One other widely used version of this is the unpolarized version called the C7, which only has two connections. So it can only be used with stuff that has a double insulated power supply. And again, this one handles only two and a half amps. And finally, you'll sometimes run into a version of this one that has one squared side to make a polarized version. But this little variation isn't a standard version, so there's no special C designation for it. For more videos like this, visit eeworldonline.com.